Welcome back, fellow collectors. Thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium video. In today's edition, we're going to be taking a look at another Diecast Masters Transport Series 1 to 50 scale model. In this case, it's the brand new Freightliner Cascadia with 53 foot dry cargo van. It's item number 71047, and as I mentioned, it is in 1 to 50 scale. So before we take a closer look at these two brand new castings, let us first take a look at the packaging. What's interesting here, and it stands out immediately, even if you're not watching this in high definition, is the rendering of this has a much darker depiction of the color gray on this uh, Freightliner. But once you see the truck, it's a much lighter smoke-colored gray. But in all other aspects, the packaging is very nice, very professional-looking, and not too busy. Up on top, it says Transport Series Freightliner Cascadia with 53-foot dry cargo van. Collectible die-cast scale model replica. Here is your item number. And just like all the other Transport Series, you have a little bit of information about the real vehicle on the back, which you're more than welcome to pause the video and read if you would like to as well as currently the other tractor-trailer combos in the Transport Series lineup. Now, unlike the Western Stars and the International, there's no accessories included in this, such as um, oversized load signs or smokestacks, because you don't need it with the Freightliner Cascadia trucks. So with the packaging out of the way, let's take a look at the model. First, we will examine the 53-foot trailer. So what I find particularly interesting about this casting is, although I don't believe it's directly based on it, it has that Fitzgerald glider kit aerodynamic um, addition to the trailer. And essentially these are used to reduce drag and uh, ultimately it saves the operator fuel cost making these super long runs. So I kind of thought it was cool that they added that onto the trailer. The wheel arches up on top of the wheels, that is a plastic component. Moving towards the rear of the trailer, there's very fine details here, including the gross weight, which is very difficult to pick up on camera, but once you have this, you can read these decals perfectly fine. There's also another decal here, and 53 foot. The doors do swing open, so if you want to, you can pose this truck being loaded. And you can see into the back of it there. You have lights and your protection bar as well back here. Coming along to the side, it's pretty much the same as the other side. Your two decals read super heavy up here in this pyramid or triangle shape. And down here you have caution 96 high container. Looking underneath of the trailer, this appears to be held together... Uh, mostly by screws, which is a very good thing for those customizers out there because this looks like it would be very easy to disassemble for uh, custom repaints if you want to add um, custom company colors to this trailer and base it off of real companies and things like that. It has a screw here, a couple screws here, one in the back and one in the front. Additionally, you have plastic landing legs here, which do fold down in this case and they will hold the trailer up no problem if you want to pose it just like that coming towards the front another really good detail is you have some painted lines going in here and also some other small ones over here the top of the trailer is also detailed with a bunch of little for lack of a better term, bubbles. So there is the trailer. Now let's take a look at the Freightliner Cascadia truck. Just like the trailer, it has those aerodynamic kit on the wheels. The fifth wheel uh, also will fit other Diecast Masters trailers. One of the best functions of this truck is that the top of the cab and the sleeper from here to the top, that's a plastic piece. And the reason for that is if you grab it by both sides and lift straight up, it's removable. And you can see the detail inside. The 
steering wheel even has the Freightliner logo on the center of it. And again, that's you can see this a whole lot better when you have it in your hands. But all of these smaller details are very, very hard to pick up on a camera like this. And obviously, if you wanted to, if you have a 1 to 50 scale or O gauge figure or driver, you can put him behind the wheel if you want to as well. Both the driver's side and the passenger side doors do open, and they open to a very good degree. So you can also get a figure inside that way if you wish to. The hood also opens, and you can get a pretty good look at the engine inside there as well. There is a total of five mirrors on this truck. Two here, two there, and one smaller one over here. This black little plastic piece. There are some small highlighted lights. And then you have the Freightliner name up here on top of the grill. The steering on this truck works better than expected because you can achieve a decent range to the left and a good range to the right, and it will hold that angle. Underneath the truck, there's also been a relatively good amount paid to the detail underneath. And again, with any amount of um, experience, these would probably be relatively simple to disassemble for repaints. So there you go, guys. That is a look at the two newest castings in the Diecast Masters Transport Series lineup, the Freightliner Cascadia and the 53-foot box container. You can pick this set up for about $130 US, good value for the money, and I definitely see this being a very, very popular set, especially with the custom model uh, community that is out there. Uh, again, if you want to see the different colors that the Freightliner Cascadia tractor is currently offered in, stay tuned. That video will be coming up shortly. And as always, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comments section. Be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.